Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine for a moment that the ladder we climbed to reach the stars was crafted not solely by the brightest of men, but also by a woman whose name whispered like a secret through the corridors of astronomy. Her rungs, sturdy and steadfast, have allowed us to measure the cosmos. Yet her story, much like a faint star in the vast night sky, often goes unnoticed. Tonight, we shed light on Henrietta Swan Levitt, an unsung heroine whose discovery of Cepheid variables has been a beacon in our celestial navigation. In the early 20th century, the world of astronomy was a burgeoning field of nebulas and stars, a mosaic of cosmic mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Within this vast expanse, a group of dedicated astronomers, known as computers, most of them women, poured over glass photographic plates, charting the heavens with meticulous care. It was within this tapestry of light and shadow that Henrietta Swan Levitt, with a quiet resolve and an eye for detail, discerned a pattern that would become the key to understanding the scale of the universe. Now imagine you're standing beneath the night sky, the velvet darkness punctuated by countless twinkling stars. Among these celestial bodies are the Cepheid variables, stars that pulse with a rhythm as precise as the ticking of a grand clock, their brightness ebbing and flowing over days, weeks, even months. What if I told you that the key to unlocking the vast distances of space lay in the pulse of these stars? And what if I told you that it was Henrietta Levitt's keen observations that turned this celestial metronome into a universal measuring stick? As we delve deeper into Henrietta's journey, we find her at Harvard College Observatory in 1908, diligently cataloging variable stars in the Magellanic Clouds. Through her unwavering dedication, Levitt discovered more than 2,400 variables, but it was her recognition of a consistent pattern between the luminosity and the period of Cepheid variables that truly set her apart. A straight line can readily be drawn among each of the two series of points corresponding to maxima and minima, she noted, a statement that resonated through the realm of astronomy like a reverberating chord. This discovery, now known as the Levitt Law, or the period luminosity relation, indicated that the brighter a Cepheid, the longer its period of pulsation. It was a revelation that allowed astronomers to measure distances to far-off galaxies, a puzzle piece that proved essential to Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking work, which ultimately led to the understanding that the universe was expanding. Indeed, it wasn't solely the voices of men like Hubble that echoed through the hallowed halls of science. Levitt's own words, though often delivered in measured tones and relegated to the footnotes of scholarly papers, spoke volumes. It is worthy of notice, she understated in her published work, perhaps never realizing the full extent of her contribution to the celestial cause. Henrietta's findings came at a time when the scientific community grappled with the scale of the universe. Her work paralleled the efforts of other pioneers, providing a foundation that would elevate our cosmic perspective. Across oceans and epochs, her legacy endured as she posthumously received credit for her contributions. Astronomer Dorit Hoflite once said of her, Levitt deserved the Nobel Prize, but she was gone before her discovery was fully appreciated. The ethical implications of Henrietta's story are intertwined with the recognition of her work and the broader historical neglect of women's contributions to science. It presents us with a moral inquiry. How do we ensure that all voices are heard and credited in the unfolding narrative of human discovery? The dilemma of her posthumous recognition is a stark reminder of the silent battles waged by many women of her era and serves as a call to scrutinize and rectify the biases in our historical records. Henrietta Levitt's legacy is not confined to the annals of academia. It finds resonance in our culture, inspiring characters in literature and plays, such as Silent Sky by Lauren Gunderson, which portrays Levitt's passion and struggle. Characters like her remind us that the tapestry of our universe is woven with threads of determination and intellect from all corners of humanity. Today, 
The relevance of Henrietta Swan Leavitt's work is undeniable. As we launch telescopes capable of peering into the deepest corners of the universe, and as we continue our quest to understand dark energy and the fate of the cosmos, her discovery remains a cornerstone of celestial measurement. The debate surrounding the expansion rate of the universe, the so-called Hubble tension, finds its roots in the Cepheid variables that Henrietta so meticulously studied. In reflecting upon Henrietta Swan Leavitt's monumental contribution to science, we come to recognize the profound impact of her legacy. Her discovery of the period luminosity relation of Cepheid variables is not merely a step in the ladder of scientific progress. It is a giant leap that has allowed us to reach for the stars with a newfound certainty. How then do we honor such a legacy? How do we ensure that her name and those of countless other unsung heroes are remembered and celebrated? I thank you, dear viewers, for joining me on this journey through the cosmos, guided by the light of Henrietta Swan Leavitt's stars. As you gaze up at the night sky, may you find inspiration in the pulsing rhythm of the Cepheids, and may you ponder the hands that helped us measure the vastness of space. What discoveries await us, hidden in the folds of the universe, waiting for the next curious mind to unveil them? And so as we part ways, let us carry with us the spirit of inquiry that Henrietta embodied. Let us look beyond the familiar constellations and into the depths of the unknown, for it is there that the secrets of the cosmos await. Good night, and may your explorations be ever fruitful.